Hello all, uh, this video is going to be on um, using the Arch ISO uh, to make a custom build of an uh, Arch Linux installation. Uh, so there's a lot of steps and trial and error involved, so um, I'll try to be as accurate as I can. So we'll start by opening a terminal and we'll get uh, a couple of things, Pac-Man, sorry, I'll do a pseudo Pac-Man dash capital S uh, make and patch. I think the Arch ISO pulls in uh, a lot of stuff now. So after that I'm going to use the Yaw Art one. Arch dash ISO Art Arch ISO dash JIT. Press one. No to edit. Continue building, yes. Okay, so it's installed. So we'll uh, update our database. If you have mlocate, uh, sudo update db, locate arch iso uh, less. And you see it's here. And we have to edit some uh, files before we start copying. This one here we want to edit as root. I'll tell you why in a sec. So it's sudo and whatever editor, G edit, whatever, leaf pad for me. And then I'll copy that in. And just do a control F to find pack strap. Down here, there's just two lines. And right here with this small C, you put a dash I and the space, of course. And then same thing in the next one, dash I and the space. Control controls S to save and control Q to quit. And then uh, we'll make a directory. Um, I prefer to use my home directory, but it doesn't matter. MKDIR and uh, live CD or disk, whatever you want to call it. And then do a sudo cp r usr, I mean usr share arch iso configs, and press tab on, and then the rel. Put a star and then a, to the uh, put a tilde live CD. And we list that out and ls live CD. We have our basic uh, structure to build a, uh, a Arch Linux um, image. Now the reason I uh, mentioned uh, editing the uh, make the uh, the uh, Arch Linux config file. In the pack strap, if you don't put the dash i, um, it won't uh, prompt you, and uh, you have no idea of the progress. Um, you'll see that as uh, we'll go along. So just make sure you have that in there. <laughs> uh, so you see here we have a build uh, script file. Uh, we have packages, and now that each packages there's packages dot both i six eight six and sixty four bit. I'm using a 64-bit system and it's a little difficult to make custom images. I know you can, it's possible, but to customize for 32-bit. Uh, so I'm going to make it just for 64-bit. However, um, I'm still going to use the packages dot both. I gave up trying the x86-64. And so we have the build sh we have to uh, edit packages dot both the MK init uh, config file and the custom um, customize your image in the AI root FS so I'll just uh, LS AI and if you go to roots list out roots you see what I'm saying talking about here sorry uh, customize a, um, a root FS SH Excuse me, I'm a bit tongue-tied. There's a lot of terminology and uh, things going around in my head. I'm trying to remember. Okay, so where do you start? Well, um, if you're going to customize, we can get into custom repos maybe later, but uh, we'll just start building the software that we might need. So one thing you can do is just change direct to your home and do a pacman-q out to 
packs. You can call on any one packages. Dot text if you want. And you can uh, leaf pad, packs, text. This will show you all the stuff you have installed and maybe a reminder on your uh, particular system. All right, so you can refer to that document um, if you want to create one on what packages you have installed. I change directory back to the uh, live CD and then sudo leafpad packages dot both. You see here, um, this is our, I haven't done anything to this. This is just what it is out of the box. There's some things you don't need. But we'll just keep everything as it is for now for, to keep it uh, uh, as simple as we can. So I'm just going to press enter here. And this is going to be our own stuff. Um, if, you, if you want an inter you probably want an interface. So you're going to need Zorg and the server and the drivers. And if you're going to try it in a virtual box, you need the guest utils um, and so on. So. And we want the base devel, so base dash d e v e l. Um, now let's just do the Zorg things dash server Zorg dash x init Zorg dash t w m and x term. And I'm trying to keep this in alphabetical order Zorg. Got to be careful. <laughs> uh, dash drivers, and that's for compatibility. That'll pull down all the open source uh, drivers and stuff for video. And let me see. Uh, if you want to, I'm going to choose XFCE four. Now, normally what I do is I go through and uh, select the packages I don't want to use. But I'm just going to pull down the whole XFCE4 package. Um, again, just for simplicity. Um, what else we need? Uh, virtual box. Dash guest. Dash utils. Uh, we'll probably need the, the TTF. Dash uh, deja vu. And probably a few other things I'm forgetting about. Okay, there's a there's a simple list of uh, just to get started for your packages. So I'll save this and quit, and go back to our terminal. And uh, let's take a look at the mk init file. Um, so sudo leafpad. And in here, uh, I don't need the PXE modules, so I'm going to remove those. So this one here, delete that. And then this one here. Let's see, that's okay. And uh, leave that as it is. Uh, save and quit. And let's edit the build sh file. This one here. Okay. Um, let's find pxe and remove those as well. Delete and control find. And that's different. And Control G, that's good enough. And since I'm just building for 64-bit, I'm at the top. Control Find uh, I 68. Oops, no, no, 686. And there's three instances, so I'll delete, delete. Control G, delete D, and delete twice. And hopefully it's not going to be calling anything else, um, but we'll see. So Control S, save and quit. And let's take a look at our um, custom script and make sure I put uh, what editor I want. Leaf pad, space there, 
And that should be it. All right, so you can, you can change your locale here to different whatever you're using. And I like the fact that uh, just leave it as UTC. I found that just to be the simplest way. And uh, you can add the user and you can add your username. So just take Arch out or just double click and just type over it your username. And later on, if you have something like a light DM, you can add light DM dot service to this list. Don't put it here because this is a setting and I'm going to set it for multi user target this time. So just one change in there, uh, the, the user. Now I know it's Z Z S H, uh, but it's pretty cool. So save and quit. Um, Let's uh, change directory to the A, the AR, and change directory to Etsy. And list here. Be a good idea is uh, sudo leafpad and make your own Pacman config. It'll accept that if you and put it in here. C O N F, and it's blank of course, so you can use your own sudo from your own your system pacman and you have the custom ones like don't put this in here so I'm just gonna control a control C and I'll go to the other one control V and I take out uh, the extra Just so, you know, if you want to share this, uh, it's not going to uh, conflict. And we want to, yep, everything's enabled. Look, if you're obviously 64-bit, we want multi-lib, and that's obviously uncommon. So save and quit. And we close that one out and exit this terminal. Uh, change directory back to 5. Okay, uh, I got this feeling I'm forgetting something, but let's give this a try. So the command is sudo uh, a dot slash build dot, uh, dot sh dash v and press enter. And you see it's synchronizing just the basic mirrors, not multi-lib yet. So this is what we're pulling down for a basic arch install. And uh, let that run a bit. So this is what I was talking about. If you didn't put the dash I in that pack strap, um, it wouldn't prompt you for this sort of stuff. So we don't really need NDB, but it's fine for now. You can take that out later. And these are the some of the packages from the base devel and the core. And oh, see, I made a mistake here. XFCE. I put XCF4. That's what I'm saying. You have to be careful. And that's what I'm talking about. It's a lot of trial and error. Sometimes you just, you, no matter what you do. So we'll have to uh, sudo rm r. It creates a work directory. So you have to remove that. And then we'll uh, um, edit the packages.both file yeah so X <laughs> F C E 4 is what we want to save and quit now let's try it again so we're a little bit closer now and we're at the uh, XOR drivers so just press center for all defaults and it's downloading um, XTG user directory so you can uh, have that um, your basic directories inside your XFCE for Thunar file manager. All right, so it's gone through and now it's making the uh, the image. And uh, depending on how many cores, it'll be, it will use all 
like if you have six cores, it will use those as you can see here on the side. So I'm going to pause the recording uh, until that's finished.